Last night, for the first time, I watched some Dave Smith uh, videos on uh, Odyssey, and I think there was one I couldn't find, so I had to go to YouTube for it. But <clears throat> Dave Smith, if you're not familiar, is a comedian, funny one, I think, uh, and he is considering a run for the president of the United States uh, with the Libertarian Party. And <clears throat> I heard, by the way, I'm sick. I apologize for some throat clearing. Hopefully I can still get my point across. Uh, he seems like a really nice, dynamic personality kind of guy. Uh, very charismatic, uh, very charming. Um, it, it, it certainly thinks a lot of himself and I'm not going to, I'm not going to diagnose him as narcissistic, but he, he does seem to think a lot of himself. And, and I think he's pretty great too. So I'm not going to really argue with him there. Uh, we do have some, some disagreements and we have some different, levels of dedication to intellectual consistency and uh, logic and reason and such. However, the reason I wanted to chat about him a bit is to make a suggestion that those of us in the libertarian-ish arena, whether we are pro-government, we love government, we want government, we think it's great, uh, we just want less of it than some of the other people, or people like me who are more of a absolutist, a purist, uh, whatever you want to call it, who, who believes just in absolute intellectual consistency, through the whole spectrum of liberty-leaning folk, I wonder if we ought to spend a little bit more time being forgiving of each other. And yes, it is our responsibility to call out each other. This is kind of, this is, we're in a social science arena, and it is our duty as scientists to hear a theory or see an experiment, et cetera. It's a scientific method. You see somebody do something or say something, and then you examine that. And those of us that are also in the movement, it's our job to poke holes in it. And I guess my suggestion isn't that we stop poking holes in bad arguments, bad experiments, bad logic, bad thinking. Let's keep poking holes in them, but let's do so nicely and respectfully. And let's also appreciate that not everyone is at the same place in their journey. And I was once at a place in my journey 12 years ago that I thought, well, there's going to be government. This is the world that we live in. And so we might as well make the government as good as it can be. <clears throat> and that would be through <clears throat> either libertarian leaning Republicans or Democrats that are in office or the Libertarian Party, but somehow let's make the government better. And that was a, a position that I held for, for a while. And I don't really want to attack someone else who had who now holds that same position that I once held. I didn't have bad intentions at that moment. I was just, I was at a, a place along my path of understanding and learning. And then also, I would say, let's look at our, our basic value and how we look at uh, the world. There, there's this idea that Dave Smith mentioned, and he didn't call it by name, but the ends justify the means. And so he wants to bring liberty to the world, and that is one of his higher goals. So then he says, well, what can we do to make that happen? And what he believes we can do to make that happen <clears throat> is running for government office for political office and getting in and making things a little bit better. Or yeah, he knows that libertarians have never had a good chance, but at least bringing up the conversation, having people read books, watch lectures on, on YouTube and Odyssey and such, and at least learn more about the, the philosophy. And, and I think that's a, that's the end that I want also. I mean, and I think where we, separate ways is that they're, they're kind of two conflicting philosophies. One is the ends justify the means. And he's absolutely correct strategy wise, I think in running for president, if, if that is one's higher uh, value. The other one though, is one that I really like. Carl Watner popularized it. Uh, Gandhi was before him in saying it. So maybe they, they both popularized it. But the idea is that if one takes care of the means, the end will take care of itself. And so this philosophy is, what is the right thing to do at this moment? Right now, what is the right thing to do? <clears throat> and so 
I have to, that's what I have selected as my guiding principle, is doing the right thing at every moment as best I can. And and I, I, I definitely fall down on that. And then I apologize and I move forward. But for me, when I, when I examine this idea of I am going to join a group of people that is going to rule over another people because I will be a kinder, gentler ruler. No, that's not the correct means. That's not the right thing for me to do today. Now, what if my goal is only to bring the topic to the tip of people's tongues, to, to have this big audience, this big exposure, and say, hey, maybe people will read a book after seeing what I have to say. Well, th- there's an argument for that, but then what is the downside? Can you identify that? The downside is, even if you're just thinking from the, the idea of the, the ends justify the means, if I do that, I'm condoning government. All, little kids are watching and they're thinking, you know, I wonder if it's okay for government to exist. Is there any voice out there that's saying it's not okay and that it's bad and that there's a different way that people can more peacefully coexist? And they look up and they see Dave Smith or they see me and and we're saying, vote for me, support government. And when the kid goes, well, okay, I guess, gosh, that all the voices are saying we got to do government. That's my big concern is I don't want to be the excuse. Um, I want to be that one guy, you know, the picture of the the Nazis are all out on the street and everybody is doing their their salute except the one guy and his hands are down on his sides. And who knows what that has sparked in human beings since then. That one dissenting person who says, no, I'm not going to stand for bad. Yeah, maybe I could do the salute. I could rise up in the Nazi party and then I could do more good. I don't know. I I don't think that's the right thing for me to do right now. However, I've been wrong a lot. Rothbard at one point believed in purist uh, libertarian philosophy, and then he changed and he went to to pro-state, pro-government. You know, like, let's play along with them. Let's let's at least get involved. If it's a way to get the message out, let's do it. And Dave Smith uh, clearly agrees with that. As a voluntarist, and voluntarism is a subsection of anarcho-capitalism that that includes the idea of non-participation in electoral uh, processes. So we don't sign petitions, we don't vote, we don't write to our senators or congressmen or whatever. Uh, we're just we completely shun the the bad guys in their system. And by bad guys, we mean government. Not that everybody in the government has bad intentions or or knows the evil of their ways, uh, but it's, it's bad stuff based on what I have come to come to understand. And so I'm not going to support that. Dave Smith, on the other hand, is going to support that. And I, I guess my big point is, I just explained why we disagree, how we disagree, how we've come to different conclusions. But I'm not going to attack Dave Smith. No, go, go out and do your thing, man. Like, I'd so much rather you be running as a libertarian than as a Republican or a Democrat. And I would so much rather you be running as any of those than as a one of Kim Jong-un's or ills or ghouls or whatever he is in North Korea or in France or in, in Russia or, or Australia or someplace like that. Like, okay, you're you're rising toward the top. As Carl Hess talked about, uh, you know, if I'm going to pick an enemy, he didn't say this with these same numbers. I'm updating it a bit. If there are 7 billion people out there and I want to pick somebody that I'm going to hate and disagree with, I'm not going to pick one of the million or billion people that are closest to me or that are closest to what I believe to be true and right and accurate. I'm going to pick somebody on the opposite side. So we're something like fellow travelers. We disagree about whether government's good or bad or, or worth being a part of. I think Dave Smith understands 70, 80 percent of voluntarism and anarcho-capitalism, maybe not the moral aspect, but he definitely maybe has a better understanding than I do of the the pragmatic aspects of what are we going to make happen? The guy's able to influence a lot of people. So, yeah, I guess I'm just saying he's not going to be my my favorite dude. I want deep philosophical stuff. I'm going to I'm going to listen to Disenthrall or Keith Knight or Larkin Rose or or someone like that. But 
yeah, I'm not going to pick Dave Smith as an enemy. And uh, I, I hope his, in his travels that he does well and he learns a lot and teaches a lot and, and shares the word of liberty. So that's my message of peace. Peace, uh, my message of peace and coming together. Y'all have a great day. Love each other uh, as long as y'all are being good. Take care. <laughs>